Hello YouTube, welcome back to Happy Hour. Today I think it's about time we do another Irish whiskey. Hello YouTube, welcome back to Happy Hour. Today, it's been a while since I've done an Irish whiskey, and in fact I haven't done that many Irish whiskeys, period. Um, I tend to drink quite a bit of Irish whiskey, but I just noticed I haven't done that many reviews of it. Um, you've, if you've been on my channel or you've seen some of my other videos, you might have noticed that generally lean towards Scotch whiskeys. I think it's my my preferred, I guess. Um, I, I love bourbon. I love all kinds of whiskeys. Scotch, I just feel maybe a little more familiar with, a little more history with, but but I love Irish whiskeys too. In fact, um, one of my favorite whiskeys of all time is, is Red Breast 12. I've done a video for that, the cast ring version. You can check that out if you like. But today we're gonna do one that's relatively new to me. I say relatively new. Um, yeah, relatively new, really in the last maybe 18 months or so. Uh, I did try this, I should introduce it. This is the uh, Powers John Lane. Um, I had, or John's Lane, sorry. I tried this, like I said, probably about 18 months ago at a bar and I kind of forgot it. So you know how that, I forgot that it was Powers John's Lane that I tried. Um, you can probably imagine how that night went. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, you might have seen one of the first videos we did, I actually did with Kim, my wife, was um, tasting different Irish whiskeys, kind of entry-level whiskeys, and seeing if we could taste the difference between, I think we did a Bushmills Red, uh, the Red Bush, Jameson, and Powers, the, the standard line Powers, the orange-labeled one. And I think we both preferred the, the Powers, which was which kind of surprised me. And then it made me start looking into Powers a little bit more. And I remembered it was the new bottling or the bottle shape that kind of threw me off. So there's a little bar next door to me here, my little local haunt called the Booze Hound. And I'd had Powers John's Lane there several times, but it was the old bottling, uh, the old actual physical bottle. Uh, I'll put a picture up on the screen here. And when I saw that bottle, I was, oh yeah, I have had that. That was friggin' amazing. So I went on a hunt to my liquor store, the local Binnie's, and uh, yeah, I guess they're all, they're all new bottlings now. So the, this is the new shape. I don't really care what shape the bottle is, but it's, uh, if nothing more, it confused me because if I'd have known what I was drinking earlier or if I'd known the bottle that I love so much was this, which I'd seen on the shelves quite a few times, I probably would have bought it earlier, but hey, whatever. Here we are. So yeah, Powers John's Lane. So it's a 12 year old whiskey. So I believe in the Powers lineup and there might be more, but the, the three that, that I see quite frequently are the regular Powers. I'm gonna call it regular Powers, the orange labeled one. Uh, and then they do a, th a Swallows, Three Swallows, I think. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna muck this up. I think it's called Three Swallows, but it's a, kind of the tear up. And then there's this guy, this uh, the, the, the John's Lane, 12 year old. So this is a single pot still uh, whiskey. It says, uh, I think it's triple distilled. Yeah, 12 years old. And I'm telling you, it is so friggin' good. It's bottled at 46%. And I think it says non-chill, yeah, non-chill filter. So it's kind of, uh, it didn't say anything about color uh, or no color added, but I don't know, I don't know they would add color to that. It's not super dark. And I don't know if Irish whiskey has different rules as far as color adding or having to say there's color or not color, I don't know. But non chill filtered, 12 years old, um, pot still, and uh, no color added. And it is friggin' great. Spoiler alert, I can't keep my, uh, can't keep my reviews to the review. I tell you whether, whether I like it or not before I've even tasted it, but. Let's get some in the glass. Yeah, so I remember I watched a video a long time ago from the Whiskey Tribe guys and I believe Rex, I think this was Rex's favorite. I think I think Daniel's favorite, well I say favorite, but he talks about Green Spot a lot and that's what actually turned me on to Green Spot, which again, I've done a review on it. You can check it out if you like. And I love it, it's fantastic. It doesn't check all those, you know, high ABV, you know, non-chill filtered, all the kind of nerdy boxes, but it's just a damn good whiskey. It tastes so good. It's like fruit punch and apples and oh. Um, and I believe this is the one that Rex kind of talks about, the Powers John Slane, as kind of his favorite. 
So these uh, all these kind of things kind of melded together when I remembered uh, that I that I actually liked it and that I knew something about it and I bought it. Oh man, on the nose. I feel like this is even uh, this has got a little. This is closer to red breast, I think, than the than the green spot, because um, I, I get a little bit of. I get a little bit of that richness, that sherried richness. I, I don't know that there's any sherried aging in here, but I, I'll just call it darker richness. We're on a lot of uh, a lot of Irish whiskeys that I tend to drink just for fun. <laughs> not, that, not that this is work, but you know, having a few drinks at the bar, whatever they got, if they got a Tullamore Dew or whatever, they're generally a lot lighter and fruitier and very. They go down very easy, very sweet. This uh, has a has a little more richness, which is what I equate to kind of the red breast style of things. Ah, oh, it smells so good. There still is that quintessential Irish note, though, and it's like a it's like a powdered sugar, caramel, green apple, graham cracker. Yeah, that. It smells fantastic. It really does. It smells fantastic. It smells like kind of a, I don't want to even equate it to a scotch, but it smells like a well-aged bourbon barrel matured scotch. Because it's got, it doesn't have a whole lot of, of multi funkiness to it, um, which I find with the older whisk, with the older bourbon aged, bourbon aged, no, no sherry influenced whiskeys, scotches, sorry, um, that the edges are rounded off and it gets a little deeper and darker and richer. Uh, I'm getting that off of this. That smells fantastic. It's really, it's kind of like everything I love in Irish whiskey and a little bit extra. All right, let's have a taste. Mm. Wow. That is like a flavor explosion. Sorry, I need a second. Almost getting like an effervescent grape, like a white grape. I get the apples, a little bit of apples, the powdered sugars, little bit of maltiness, like a, again, more like a graham cracker malty, breadiness, brighter fruits as well. Um, a little bit of, a little bit of lemon or lime, but like a, like a sweet lime, not a sour lime. Oh God. Wow. So you can see I've, I've again, other than the times I just explained that I've had it without realizing what I probably had, I've had some of this bottle already. And this is even better again than what I remember the first few drinks being. This is friggin' fantastic. I don't know. I'm not going to go out. I don't need this. Is, I'm putting this up there with my red breast 12 cask strength. Now, it's not cask strength, but it's 46%, which gives it just enough bite and flavor. It drinks really easy, though. There's no ethanol kick, no alcohol burn at all. Oh man, this is fantastic. I gotta do more Irish whiskeys. I have to drink more whiskey. I have to do more Irish whiskey reviews. I have to get into this a lot more. This is, that's top of the food chain. I would say, yeah, I'm gonna put this, I, I think it's, I even like it better than the green spot. I think it's got a little more going for it, a little more alcohol, a little more ABV helps. It's a little richer, a little more well-rounded. It has a lot of the notes the green spot has. Again, from my memory. Um, but it's but more to it. It's not quite as one dimensional. Again, it's not. I don't think it's similar to Red Breast, but I think it's as it gives me everything that I love in the Red Breast, which is kind of complex, deeper notes, brighter notes, just lots of stuff going on, lots of flavors. This is fantastic. Highly recommended. One of my favorites right now. Yeah, I'm gonna put this up there. I should have done a. I should have done a top whiskeys of the year like everybody else does last year, 2021. Um, but if I did, <laughs> which I didn't, maybe I'll do like two months late. This is going to be probably, you know, a top six or seven, five, six, seven bottles that I enjoy 
um, especially for the price. Oh, price. This is, I don't remember how much it is. I'll put the price up right here. I think it was, uh, I think it's 60 bucks. I don't know, like I said, I'll put the price up here. Whatever it is, it's under 80 and it's worth it. I'll take it. So yeah, if you like Irish whiskey, uh, even if you don't like Irish whiskey, well, why would you, who the hell doesn't like Irish whiskey? If you maybe think, don't kill me Irishman, if you maybe think that sometimes Irish whiskeys can be a little, I'm not gonna say one dimensional, but maybe a little less dimensional than scotches, then you gotta try this one because this has got everything going for it. All right, I think I'd be sponsored by now. Maybe these guys will see it and wanna send me free bottles. That'd be awesome. Yeah, highly recommended. Cheers, go check out Powers John Lane. John's Lane, I keep forgetting the S. Sorry, John's. Cheers, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe if you'd like as well, that'd be cool. Take it easy, see you next time.